Today we're going to take a look at how I uh, slot a fingerboard, a fretboard for a guitar. I'm going to use this nice piece of uh, quarter sawn Indian rosewood and um, I'm going to slot it on a table saw. Uh, so let's check out how I do it. First thing we're going to do is um, true up one edge nice and straight on this jointer. Nice and straight. So here's the uh, saw blade that I'm going to use to cut the fret slots. This is a Stuart McDonald uh, a fret slotting blade, 23 thousandths kerf. And I've had this for almost 30 years, this blade, and it's fantastic. Um, easy to service because it, there is no set to the teeth, meaning the teeth aren't set one way or, or the other. Uh, they're just ground straight. Uh, and that means it's easy to, all, all I have to do to touch it up is just um, file it, sharpen it with triangular file, and it's good to go. All right, so I've installed this uh, fence on the crosscut guide, uh, and this is just a big piece of oak that I've planed down uh, nice and straight. Uh, looks like some joker changed the fret saw fence sign to Fred saw. <laughs> uh, but anyway, what we've got here is there's an index pin, I don't know if you can see it, right there. And um, that is what the template will slot into for each individual fret. Okay, so I've got a couple of pieces of uh, double stick carpet tape uh, on the piece of rosewood. And now I'm going to attach the Stumac fret slotting template to the piece. Simple as that. Okay, so if you can see the pin here is above the level of the thickness of the, uh, the rosewood fingerboard so that it fits right into the slot on this uh, plexiglass template. And it's nice and tight, nice tight fit. All right, let's give it a go. first slot, that's the end cut off, the end of the fingerboard, or actually the beginning of the fingerboard. That's fret slot number 22, and since it's going to be a 22 fret neck, I'm going to cut one more slot, which is number 23, and that will be the end cut off. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, the whole thing is slotted up to slot number 23, which will be the end cut off. But if you noticed, I did not yet slot 
the 1 8 inch wide nut slot and the reason is because I like to offset my nut on a 25 and a half inch scale length about 30 thousandths of an inch towards the first fret so in order to do that I've got a couple of shims here both these shims add up to 30 thousandths and I'm going to put them in behind the blade and recut those slots and here we go There we have it. Completed, slotted, fender scale fretboard in just a couple of minutes.